The next time you hear someone repeating pro-gun NRA propaganda, you can respond with these five points. Number one, gun laws save lives. Consider the federal assault weapons ban. After it became law in 1994, gun massacres, defined as instances of gun violence in which six or more people were shot and killed, fell by 37%. The number of people dying from mass shootings fell by 43%. But when Republicans in Congress let the ban lapse in 2004, gun massacres more than doubled. Number two, the Second Amendment was never intended to permit mass slaughter. When the Constitution was written more than 200 years ago, the framers' goal was to permit a well-regulated militia, not to enable Americans to terrorize their communities. Number three, more guns have not and will not make us safer. More than 30 studies show that guns are linked to an increased risk for violence and homicide. In 1996, Australia initiated a mandatory buyback program to reduce the number of guns in private ownership. Their firearm homicide rate fell 42% in the seven years that followed. Number four, the vast majority of Americans want stronger gun safety laws. According to Gallup, 96% of Americans support universal background checks. 75% support a 30-day waiting period for all gun sales. And 70% favor requiring all privately owned guns to be registered with the police. Even the vast majority of gun owners are in favor of common sense gun safety laws. Number five, the National Rifle Association is a special interest with a stranglehold on the Republican Party. In 2016, the group spent a record $55 million on elections. Their real goal is to protect a few big gun manufacturers who want to enlarge their profits. America is better than the NRA. America is the young people from Parkland, Florida, who are telling legislators to act like adults. It's time all of us listen.